Hi guys, I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today is a very special episode because I'm joined with my girlfriend Alex. I collected her um, in Jasper, Alberta where we were both working. She was there for quite a while and I just kind of went to work over the summer at the Jasper Skytrab where we met because we were also living in the same house. Also, if you guys have more questions about our relationship, leave them in the comments down below. Today, we're teaching you how to cook. Not other things. So what are we gonna make today? <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit much. Um, we're making a salad, a really yummy tomato pomegranate molasses pomegranate molasses salad. And it's really good and really yummy and I like it. This is delicious and it's also great with uh, my spanakopita, which just came out last week, so be sure to check that out afterwards. So we're gonna get started. Alex is gonna be cutting up tomatoes. What? I'm gonna cut up the tomatoes and I'm gonna do it way too slowly and just wrong. What I've essentially calculated is that in the time Alex is going to cut the tomatoes, I will have done everything. Else. I can cook. It's I just, know. You do it so I'm much just faster. faster. That's and, yeah. Because I have more practice. Yeah. I have more, but Alex. Sorry. Don't play with sharp objects. Okay, so I'm starting off here with one regular white onion. Yes, yeah, start chopping. I'm sorry. Silly lady. So take your onion, top and tail it, and then just cut a strip down the middle so that you can very easily take the skin off. So this is going to make quite a generous amount of salad, um, but. Alex is a little salad lover, so I'm making quite a lot. But if you don't want this much, you can just have the amount of salad. That's totally fine. So I'm cutting the onion into half moons. And Alex, what have you been instructed to do? Um, chop the tomatoes into large chunks. I think that was the word used. Yep. Is this, is this good chunk size? That is absolutely perfect chunk size. So. And then I'm going to sprinkle right on top some sea salt and pomegranate molasses. And what that's going to do is soften the onion and make it sweet and delicious so that you won't mind that it is a crucial ingredient in the salad. So lots of salt. And don't forget that when you're using coarse sea salt, you basically need twice as much as if you were using fine salt. Am I allowed to ask why? Yeah. Um, Why, Ravina? Because it's bigger crystals, and yeah, it's bigger crystals, and so when you're kind of measuring it out, it um, it doesn't take up the same volume as finer crystals would, right? Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. And then we're going to use a quarter cup of pomegranate molasses, as you can tell I'm measuring very carefully. Such careful measurement. Pomegranate molasses is tart and sweet and tangy. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. It makes your mouth Sorry, what? look look taste. Mm, mm, mm. It makes your mouth pucker deliciously. It's true. And then it is really good. Yeah. It's basically just boiled down mm. pomegranate juice. And now we give this a scrunch. A messy, messy scrunch. And now we're going to put the tomatoes on top and add a little bit of salt. They're tomatoes, by the way, not tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomato. Um, because, and add salt because this one likes salt a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, an unusual amount. I have around three quarters of a cup of mint here. I just tore it off the stock with a little bit of help. And yeah, just topping it up to go on our salad. And I have green olives that I'm chopping up at the moment. Um, these ones have garlic cloves in them. They're my favorite. I really like them. Um, these ones are kind of spicy and garlicky as well, and they go really well in the salad. So I'm just putting the mint on top. Mint is a fresh, cooling herb, and it's delicious, especially in late summer. So I have here a pomegranate. Uh, and... As we were sort of talking about, you tend to cut open a pomegranate and then you're like, what do I do? How do I get the seeds out? So complicated. Okay. 
can I just say, like when I first opened my pomegranate, I was just like trying to pick each thing out. I used separately. to do that. But I'm gonna show you guys a ridiculously easy tip. So you take the pomegranate, first step, wait, stop jumping for a sec. Okay, sorry. Do you hear this? Do you hear that crunch That's noise? That's a really attractive sound. It reminds me of my back cracking. Oh yeah, yeah mm. I hear that. Yeah. So the crunch is basically just the seeds good kind of, yeah, being released from their, um, their little kind of fleshy capsules. So take your pomegranate, and then you're gonna cut it in half, ugh, using a little bit of force, this away. Specifically, you must say, ugh, ugh. It's very important. And then, where's my spoon? I have a big, heavy spoon. I mean, it's not like really heavy, but it's got a little bit more weight nice. than your average nice kitchen spoon. <laughs> It's super heavy. <laughs> no, I'm just really strong. So take your pomegranate. It really hurt my knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't do it at home, kids. It hurts, okay? Oh my god. Okay, go. Sorry. Carry it's on. okay. So hold your pomegranate upside down thusly, and then you're going to bash it. Give it a little bit of a spanking, and then as you do that, the pomegranate seeds will fall into your hand. And if you hold your fingers apart like this, the seeds can fall directly through your hands and onto the salad. That seems really satisfying. It's super satisfying. If you want, we can switch and I'll finish the olives and you can do the pomegranate seeds. And you will be like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm not that fast. I mean. <laughs> I'm so so I'm gonna do the entire pomegranate because I love me some pomegranate seeds. Um, so yeah. Can I even go? Yeah, of course. But just keep going and then our salad is pretty much almost done. Just one more ingredient. Go for it. Cool. <laughs> you make the cutest face. It's fun! It is fun. So we added our olives to the salad. What? When? Sorry, we did. We added the olives. The olives were added. They're added. They're there. Yeah. They're there! Can you see them? The yeah. salad is so pretty! So I'm just going to add two last things. A little bit of olive oil. Now in this instance, you want to add extra virgin olive oil. Alex, do you know why you add extra virgin olive oil in salads? No, Rubina. <laughs> Why do you add extra virgin olive oil in salads? Well, I think I have an idea actually. I actually told you. I'm sure you did. A while ago. Um, Sorry, carry on. No, that's okay. But extra virgin olive oil um, is essentially very good quality olive oil. And what you do not want to do is cook it. Because when you apply heat to extra virgin olive oil, you kill out all the delicious properties which make the different oils taste like different things. Some are peppery, some are grassy, some are sharp, some are mild, some are sweet. <clears throat> yeah, apparently this... olive oil can be sharp. Yeah, it's true. And peppery, it's really good. This one is a... It's all very complicated. Smell this one. Ooh. This is a lemon olive oil. Just, just it smells good. It's really good. Just use what you have. Like I have this lying around. She has really fancy food sometimes. It's what I'm interested in. So I like to try as much as possible. And then I'm just gonna put. <sighs> would you like some in your mouth? A small I'll drizzle. I'll put some salad in my mouth. Okay. A pomegranate molasses right on top. The color is great. The taste is great. Are you ready? Dive in. We must prepare for this moment. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Oh. Bite you. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay. okay, I want some onion and tomato and mint and um, olives and oh. pomegranate. Ah. Ah. How do you get everything? Oh, it's oh. really hard while I'm trying to make it look pretty. I think I got it. I I don't think I got it. It's so complicated. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. And then put more in my mouth. What do you think? I want more in my mouth. It's like... Food is delicious. 
when it's either super comforting mm -hmm. or kind of hits the different notes. The olives are salty, the pomegranate molasses is tart, the pomegranate seeds are crunchy, the tomatoes are sweet. You guys, oh, she's, she's gone. That's it, back to New Zealand with my salad. <laughs> anyway, you guys have to give this a try. Please do, it's really yum. And like this video, if um, you like the fact that Alex just called the salad really yum, or you think that we're adorable, or you like the video, point blank. Recipe can be found, as per the usual, on ravinaskitchen.com. Please leave me a comment in the, in, the, in the down below, and on my website, let me know what you think, and I will see you soon. We will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.